Jason first wears the iconic hockey mask in Friday the 13th Part 3, near the very end of the film. Jason steals it after killing Shelly, who brought the mask for pulling pranks on his friends during their road trip to Higgins Haven. The unrelated TV show Friday the 13th, the series, originally would have elaborated on the mask's origin. While there were no story connections to the films in the TV series, they did want to have a throwaway line explaining the mask as one of the cursed objects sold at the haunted thrift store. But, for better or worse, the idea was dropped and the show remained isolated from the film franchise. In part 4, we see the mask with the distinct axe cut from the end of part 3, and half of the red chevron from the top of the mask is peeled away which gives it a more distressed look. After Jason dies at the end of that film, we see two masks in the follow-up Friday the 13th, A New Beginning. One is a similar looking mask whenever Tommy hallucinates and dreams of Jason, and the second mask belongs to the copycat killer. It doesn't have any damage and has two vibrant blue chevrons instead of the iconic red ones. So by the time we get to part 6, Jason's mask no longer has the side chevrons and the top chevron is no longer peeled halfway. The mask also looks a lot bigger than the last one. By the end of the film, Jason gets injured by a boat propeller, which breaks off a chunk of the mask. In part 7, the mask's red chevron at the top has faded into a dark brown and... It remains damaged from the axe cut in part 3 and the propeller in part 6. Eventually, the main protagonist, Tina, who has telekinesis, destroys the mask while fighting Jason. In part 8, we finally get to see Jason pick a new mask, which of course is a replica of his last mask and goes so far as to even have the same axe cut in the side. But for some reason... The chevrons are also angled differently. It's also a lot more yellow in color. Part 9 has an extremely damaged mask that almost seems to be absorbed into Jason's head. Some suggested this was a result of the toxic waste Jason was exposed to at the end of part 8. And by the end of the film, the mask gets pulled down to hell by Freddy Krueger. Jason X jumps ahead in time and presents us with a more angular and gothic hockey mask. It also retains the axe cut from part 3, and by the end of the film it gets upgraded to a more modern and metallic hockey mask. In Freddy vs. Jason, the mask has no axe or propeller cuts, but retains all three red chevrons. So, I guess you could say Jason actually has more than one hockey mask throughout the series, but there's something almost magical about that very first mask. In fact, there was even a series of books which explored the concept that Jason's mask was possessed, and that would go hand in hand with the concept from Friday the 13th, the series, and that it was cursed. It seems ever since that very first frame of Jason wearing the mask, it became instantly iconic and a statement of power for the franchise. No.